hi everyone it's Whitney welcome back to the channel so today you guys I have some diamond paintings that I want to share with you these were sent to me from a company called spell queen and I have several youtubers that I do follow that have unboxed this company and I like what I saw and then of course I went on the website and I love what I saw on there I like that they do customs as well so I do have a custom somewhere in this box but these kits are on the larger side so I'm gonna just show one kit today and then the follow-up videos will be the other two kits because it's just too much you guys so I hope that's okay I don't want to overload y'all with too much like I said in one video it's just too much so let me go ahead and move everything aside and we will get started all right, you guys, so in the box was four of these little bags here. These are the kits that you use to get you started with the diamond painting. They sent me four bags. Um, I only have three kits. I don't know if that was a mistake or whatever, but nonetheless, I'm still happy. More wax is better than no wax. So let me go ahead and show y'all what's in this particular bag. So the first thing in here is the pen with the little, um, I call these like a little spongy little holder thing. You know, it's to help you diamond paint, like be more comfortable. So that's really, really cool that they have that in there. I personally don't use these type of pens, but if you are just starting out and you don't have anything, this is really cool to help you get started. Um, there is this mermaidy pen in here, which is really cool. I actually have one of these. I don't use it, y'all, but this is real cool, like a really cool pen. It has the little tip on the end, so you can just diamond paint. This is very lightweight, too, um, which is good. I noticed with my, um, I guess, resin acrylic pens that they're, they're becoming too heavy for me. So this is really good for me, very lightweight, which is good. I like that it has a cap to it, so... You know, it looks nice and fancy. So that is cool. You get your wax pot in here, which is awesome, y'all. Awesome, because those little squares of wax are not really good if you don't have them in some kind of container because they tend to get non-sticky and just not work. I actually use a container like this at all times when I'm diamond painting and I think the one I have is from Diamond Dots but it's so small and this is awesome because this is way bigger than that one. Let's see the wax. Okay so you get several waxes in here. Are they going to come out? Probably not. Well I don't think it's going to come out but you get several waxes in here. I think about three or four so that's more than enough wax. I probably could finish all of the kits that I got from them with just this one little piece of wax. So like I said earlier, more wax is better than no wax. So really cool to have all that. You get your tweezers, which is really cool. It has their name on there. Wow, y'all, these are really sharp. These are really good too. Most of the tweezers I get are very, very flimsy and they're very, very cheap. And this does not feel cheap. It's very heavy very very heavy and it feels really 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 nice like I love how this feels I love that it comes with this little topper thing to keep it nice and protected so you don't poke yourself if you're not being careful it also has this little tray here for you to put diamonds in which is really good like I said earlier if you're starting out and you don't have anything this is good I personally like a certain type of container and I always use that one on anything but this is like I said always good to have if you don't have anything and this tray y'all this tray is nice this is like one of the biggest trays that I've seen I don't have a lot of trays I only use the little ones but this one's very sturdy it's not flimsy how the ones that I do have are very flimsy um, the spout here too is really good because I'm one of those diamond painters who shake shake shakes shake 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 all the time so and when I'm doing that a lot of times the diamonds are falling out so yeah I love that the spout is tiny very nice I like that they put their name on the back too yeah really really nice I love everything in that little set there. This little bag here, I'm pretty sure it has the same things in it. Yeah. Oh, it has a different pen. 
Oh, really cool, you guys. This is like a mini diamond painting pen. Yeah, I like this. This is very lightweight. It's very little, though. It's like, I feel like a toddler. Yeah, I like this, though. I do. Yeah, I really like this. So this is really cool. My son could probably use this diamond painting. He probably want to diamond paint more with this because it's little. But I like that it's fat, too, because it gives you the... It gives you some type of grip or whatever. But yeah, really nice. You get the same tray. You get the tweezers. And you get this as well. Same tray like I said earlier. And then you get the pen. You get the, the pen holder. And then you get more wax, which is always a plus. Really, really nice. I'm happy with everything that it comes with, with all this stuff, y'all. That's really nice, really convenient. It has everything that you need. So let me go ahead and give y'all the kit. Alrighty, so now it is time to look at the canvas. So first things first is I like the bag that it comes in. Really cool bag. I'm probably going to keep this and use this for something else. I love the logo. I love that they put their logo on everything. That's really cool, y'all. So let me go ahead and see what canvas this is because I just pulled whatever was on top. Okay, so this, okay, this is the Flamingo kit. Really nice, 45 by 60 centimeters. And these are round diamonds. And I like this kit. I chose this one mainly because I don't have any flamingos at all in my collection. So I know this is going to be great to add to my collection. And the canvas too has some sort of like a shininess to it. Really nice. The canvas is real, real soft too, man. Wow. Super soft canvas. And I like that it's not wrinkly, which is good. I know I'm going to put this under something anyways and to get it, you know, completely flat, but... It doesn't need to sit long because it's like pretty much flat already. And there are 24 colors, y'all. I don't know if I told y'all. Yeah, there's 24 colors. So there you have the flamingo. I love this beak right here because it's so much pink going on everywhere else. And that's like the one area where there's some different colors going on. So it's probably going to look really good. Wow. And I'm not a big fan of the color pink at all. So, yeah, this one's probably going to look real good, y'all. Let me check the stick, too, because, wow, that is sticky. So, no issues with the stick, which is amazing. Really amazing. But, yeah, isn't it so gorgeous? Wow. It just, I wasn't expecting, y'all, for it to be this big. <laughs> I wasn't, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. I like the background too. It all has like these splotches of like pink everywhere. Even down here, like at the bottom, it's like pink splotches everywhere. So yeah, it's gonna look great. I just know it is. And then you get your diamonds here, which are awesome because they are already kitted up for you. So my work is halfway done. I don't have to do anything but just pour it into my containers that I use. Um, Y'all know I'm going to use my little containers that I use anyway. But I like that it doesn't have the square bags because I don't have to cut anything. I just have to open it and just pour it in. Very, very convenient. I love that. Let's look at these colors. Let me flip this over too so you guys aren't seeing so much going on. We can just see the colors by themselves. So there's a ton of different shades of pinks in here. There's some salmony pinks, peachy pinks, you name it. It's a pink color in here. It's like a grayish, bluish color, which is cool. Yeah, more pink, y'all. This is more of like a red pink. But yeah, very happy with this. And this is a good time that I'm checking my inventory as well. So this is some blue that's probably going to end up going in that beak area. It's like a salmon color. Really nice. 
nice light pink right here love 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 this light blue and i'm happy too there's no black in this kit because it's always either black or white i'm always doing one or the other and this kit has a ton of white so i'm glad it's just me dealing with white and not black right now because i just did a kit with a bunch of black so i needed a break Here's some more salmon colors. Really nice, y'all. I'm just dying to see once how it's gonna look, how all these diamonds, when they're laid down, how they're gonna look with all these different shades of pink. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't wait to see it. So you get more color. This is more of like a bluish, whitish color, I guess you wanna say. So yeah, there's those. And you have these and then this one and then lastly you have three humongo ginormous bags of white y'all so yeah i'm gonna be dealing with a lot of white so there you have it you guys there is my flamingo kit i hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys don't forget to check out spell queen i will have them link down below in the description box i'll link the website and i also will link this particular kit down below check it out you guys you're not going to be disappointed well worth the money from everything that i have seen here today so don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all don't forget share the videos and yeah that's it you guys so i will talk to you all in my next video bye